There's no question that the Washington football team is still looking for their future franchise quarterback. In this upcoming season, we will be rolling with Ryan Fitzpatrick, Taylor Heineke, and Kyle Allen. Oh, let's not also forget about Steven Montez. But in all likelihood, none of these quarterbacks are likely to be the future of the Washington football team. Enter Davis Mills. Hey, if you'd like to support this channel, please consider visiting our brand new Washington Football Maniacs swag store. We have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, tank tops, tumblers, coffee mugs, and much, much more. Just follow the link to our store in the description of this video and purchase some Washington Football Maniacs swag today. Your purchase helps to invest in this channel so that we can continue to bring you awesome Washington football content each and every week. Thank you for your support. Hey everybody, this is Greg, and welcome to the Washington Football Maniacs. This channel is dedicated to the Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington Redskins. So, if you're new here, you're going to want to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss any future video releases. So, Davis Mills out of Stanford. I've been doing a little research on the quarterback, and there are a lot of upsides to this guy. For starters, well, he played at Stanford, which as many of you know, is one of the schools in the country that runs a pro-style offense and tends to churn out NFL-ready quarterbacks more times than not. Now, Stanford quarterbacks are often expected to run through their progressions and to make those big-time NFL throws. Now, oftentimes, you'll see true pocket passers emerge out of Stanford. For example, Andrew Luck. Davis Mills is no exception. Mills is a true pocket passer. He kind of reminds me of a cross between Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck. And when needed, Mills has enough wheels to get the job done, but he's not what you consider a modern day quarterback in the vein of Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson. But keep in mind, the modern day GOAT is most definitely not a mobile quarterback. Right, Tom Brady? So what do I like about Davis Mills? Well, Mills has a strong arm. He can place the ball in tight spots. He can make those tough NFL passes, such as those out to the flats. He reads through his progressions and he's very patient. He knows how to look off the safeties to get them to bite while he gets the ball to the open receiver. And he's a big guy coming in at six foot four and 225 pounds. Obviously, there are things I don't like about Mills, and things that will likely make him a day three draft prospect. For starters, Mills doesn't have a huge body of work. He only started in about 11 games with Stanford, so it's one of those quarterbacks that simply doesn't have a lot of experience, which again is the reason why this guy is likely to be a much lower round draft pick. Mills is a bit inconsistent. You can see plenty of highlight tape on the guy where he's making NFL pass, but he can also follow that up with some pretty horrible reads and terrible interceptions. In today's NFL, your top quarterbacks in the league can move around in the pocket, scramble, and beat you with their legs. And this is not part of the Davis Mills prototype. He is a classic drop back passer. He's not going to beat you with his legs, even though he may be able to scramble. Mills isn't always the most accurate quarterback either. Sometimes it's a head scratcher as to what he's reading on the field and will make the ill advised throw that will likely get picked off. Again, we're talking about a quarterback who only played in about 14 games at Stanford during his three years. The upside to all of this is these are things that can easily be corrected. A year or so holding the clipboard and learning from seasoned veterans, soaking up all of the knowledge from his quarterback's coach, and being a consistent student within the film room could possibly turn this young man into a starter down the line. So when I say that the Washington football team may have found their future quarterback with Davis Mills, that is not a clickbait statement. I truly believe this is the type of quarterback that can excel in Scott Turner's offense. 
he would have the luxury to sit behind the other guys in the 21 season and not be thrown into the fire right away. I could see a situation where Mills and Montez competes with each other to see who becomes QB1. There has already been talk about Steven Montez possibly being worked into the system to serve as our very own version of Taysom Hill, and this could come as early as this coming season. I tend to believe that the Washington football team drafts a quarterback this year to develop him and have him start within a couple of seasons. So basically by let's say 2023, the quarterback should be ready to start. From what I have seen out of Davis Mills, I really like the quarterback. I think he has a lot to offer. I believe at worst, he could be an extremely solid backup quarterback. One of those guys that down the road, he becomes a starter and can compete at a high level. He would most definitely not be someone who starts right away as of course mentioned before. And speaking of things I've mentioned before, as I've mentioned in other videos and I suggest you go back and watch those videos the Washington football team will not be using their high round picks on any quarterback in my opinion I believe those picks will yield them a new linebacker an offensive tackle maybe another safety but I don't believe they will be looking for a quarterback unless one of those top quarterbacks just happens to fall all the way down to number 19 otherwise I believe if the Washington football team does draft a quarterback then you're looking at at Davis Mills or Kyle Trisk or maybe Kellen Mond. Otherwise, if the football team chooses not to grab any quarterbacks in this year's draft, that says to me that they will most certainly be finding the quarterback in the NFL draft in 2022. But we all know if the team wants to take a step forward closer to becoming a Super Bowl caliber team, they need a franchise quarterback. And honestly, while I truly believe we have some solid quarterbacks for this team currently, I don't see any franchise quarterbacks on the roster. But I do see quarterbacks who will win us a few games and maybe help us to get back into the playoffs. But this team is still a couple of seasons away from becoming something very special. The defense, in my opinion, is already something special. On offense, we have playmakers. The team is getting built the correct way, in my opinion. And what many of us feel is the most important position on the field, which of course would be quarterback, you want to make sure you get that right. You either find the guy you develop into that franchise quarterback or you wait for the opportunity to find that sure thing next season. We don't have to be in a huge hurry, folks. That is what's so wonderful about our situation, in my opinion. We have time to get this right. So what do you guys think? Do you share in my opinions about Davis Mills? If not, who would you like to see the football team go after? Let me know in the comments section. As always, if you're enjoying this channel, give me a like, let me know what you like. And also, I would appreciate your subscription to the channel. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so you will know when the Washington Football Maniacs release new content. Thanks for watching, and as always, hell to the Washington football team. Let's go Maniacs.